After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. And out now come the Seahawks. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. This is Carson. And good pressure defensively to stop him for a loss of a couple. Now there's also a flag to go with it. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards against us. No way we need to take that one. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. And the Seahawks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. Now it's Wilson going underneath here, the tight end to Valve. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could...
not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that drop. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there... Bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them but the other thing that always hits me is are they worried about playoff positioning right are they worried about do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later now that eagle offense will stay out there as he'll go for two Foles will look to throw man open it's good one and this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that extra, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now Wilson. You, 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 you. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ryan Kerrigan in there to get him, and that is Warren. He's the NFL sack leader coming into the game, and now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And the Seahawks on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. Here's Wilson to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Ryan Kerrigan in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here's Jackson. A great return there of 22 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. No! 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Two minutes left to play in this... So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size... Can't really hide him, but the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 13, 13. Check 49, check 49. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They're still throwing the football here. And obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage to try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. There's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. David Johnson, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> could stop 